Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Top Games. But in this episode, I'm going to take you through my collection of games, over a hundred games, in which we're going to be showing you all sorts of games that I personally have enjoyed, some that are going to be leaving my collection, some that may be joining my collection, and just a bunch of odds and ends. I saw a video today that recently got me thinking about my collection and how I've organized it, and I want to show you guys how I've done it. Uh, it's nowhere near as systematic as most people's. In fact, most of mine is just kind of crazy, but it'll be fun nevertheless to show you guys what I have in store for you as for the games coming to my reviews and the games I have in my collection that I will play multiple, multiple times or will stay there just because it brings me joy. That's the most important thing about gaming. Anyway, thank you for getting ready to watch our stream or video. Let's go ahead and take you through my collection of games. So, the first games we have are over here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys back here. Ah, i got a lens here. But, uh, from Grant's tablet, I'll set that over the side. As you can see, there's quite a lot of games here. I've got uh, the blue, green, red, a bunch of weird colors, white, and I try to do as best I can with the black there. Personal favorites include Cheer Up for Parties and Yacronyms is another really fun game. This one I use for my live streams to get people engaged with, and they can play it along as well. And those games, Herbaceous and Sunset Over Water, or at least Pencil First, are excellent games. There's some cool stuff like Agent Hunter that I've had for a long time. Cabo is a game from Bezier that just came out that we just played. Red X Facility 342 is a game that's uh, interesting. It's like Resistance, but you have to play in multiple rooms of the house. Invader Zim I haven't tried out yet. Diversity. All these games are all just kind of fun, quick, simple style games. This is Medici by Reino Kinesia. Uh, that's a pretty solid game. Jack's Friends is one of our personal favorites. Uh, Ambar we read not too long ago. Walk on Fire. Uh, Les Mis. These are kind of the games that my wife has organized for our showpiece for our house. And of course, we have our hand sanitizer here for after playing Cheer Up when your hands are going to get dirty. Trust me, they will with that game. Down below here, let's go really low. These are a bunch of other games we've gotten. Some of them like Robots Love Ice Cream. This one was one of our first reviews, so I've kept that game. It's pretty solid, but it's, you know, fine. Uh, this is one of my favorite games from Big Potato Games. It's called Chameleon. Once Upon a Time is a great storytelling game. Gearworks I got at Gen Con from the designer, and it's a lot of fun. Spyfall, you guys know that one, and I'm sure 10 Minute Heist as well. If you don't, definitely check out that one. It's a lot of fun as well. A bunch of party games like Code Names and another DC Spyfall. Search History is one of those party games as well where you're trying to figure out what people would search for um problem picnic attack of the ants this is great for the uh, kids tabletop games it's by uh, helena and josh capel they always make really great fun kids games my jasco mega man collection i'm a huge mega man fan so i've got proto man and mega man and then uh, bass here or base i suppose they're all basically rock star names right and uh, some other cool little odds and ends there oh and pantone don't forget about pantone that's a great party game as well <sighs> let's go ahead and go over here doodle 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 heroes of lancino this whole area here is basically games that i have personally uh, not played yet or I just finished playing Ingenious by Rainer Kinesia as well. Jungly Law, Street Fighter, Robotech, The Attack of the SDF-1 is a huge game. Some other party games, Room 25, I have an expansion, Horizons, Trail of the Tigris, Detzilla. These are games that I've either just finished playing or I need to play. Most of these are just sent for me randomly, and uh, I'm excited to try them out. I did try a couple of the Tiny Epics, and this one here, I'm very excited to try the Heroes of Lands, Sea, and Air. People have been saying it's really, really good, so that will be fun. These are kind of like showcase pieces, I guess. I mean, just like most of the pieces in my house are. Uh, I've got my little favorite types of characters, my Overwatch characters, Mega Man, and uh, this one's from Summoner's War. I guess this was a joke. And then Tezzeret from Magic. Sushi Go is one of my wife's favorite. <laughs> got a cucumber sandwich because it's crazy. A little nutter game. A lot more party games as well. I'm working on some stuff on the computer right now for our live stream this coming Wednesday, which is after the... So it's 412 right now, so... Basically, the next Wednesday here, we're going to have uh, John DeClaire and Mike Trius uh, up for uh, doing Space Base in the Mike Trius's game uh, Upstage. So we'll have some fun there. We'll be giving away a bunch of games as well. This is my personal favorites uh, that I have kept over the years. Uh, I will probably be switching a couple of them out, so we'll talk about these in a little more detail. 
Cthulhu Wars is my favorite Risk style game by Sandy Peterson. It's excellent, it's big, it's gorgeous. Galactic Rebellion, actually, this one is not a favorite and needs to leave. I haven't even had a chance to play it, unfortunately. I've wanted to, but it's huge and I have nowhere else to put it. I got it by, from Daniel, so that was cool. But it's by Eagle Griffin. Maybe it's good. I don't. I just don't know. The Others is one of my personal favorite miniature games by Simon, and it is my favorite Simon game. Defense Grid is an excellent tower defense game, and it's the way it should be done. And there's Space Space, which we'll be playing live this coming Wednesday. Chaosmos is super fun. Hide, hiding this type of, type of thing here on the board. It's really interesting and weird. Apotheca I got. I haven't played that one yet. I don't know why it's up there. <laughs> Flick him up. An excellent dexterity game. Crossmaster Arena, a great arena chibi game. Caverna, one of my personal favorite Euros worker placement style games. Sagrada is my wife's favorite game, hands down. Crusaders, They Will Be Done by Seth Jaffe is an excellent, excellent game that involves basically the same aspect of five tribes over here in which you're gonna be using Mancala tactics in order to place your characters around the board. This one's more of a area control and this one is more of a point scoring game. Talisman is an old classic. El, uh, Evil High Priest is probably my favorite worker placement uh, so far, even though I'm missing some of the components for the expansions that I need to add to the game. Deception is my favorite, favorite, favorite hands down deception style game or hidden trader style game. I have the expansion from Gray Fox. They sent me that and it was a, it's amazing. I definitely suggest you check this game out if you haven't played it yet. Rise of the Tribes is great from Breaking Games. City of Horror, another solid game. Coldwater Crown, I love fishing and this is the best fishing game I've played so far. Dark Souls. This game is not my favorite. In fact, this game is here to remind me about publishers who do not send their stuff on time. <laughs> but it has some cool miniatures and has uh, some cool concepts. I really like the game Dark Souls, so I hope Steam Forge gets their act together. Pandemic is an excellent, excellent game. Root is another one that's got some really interesting concepts by Letter Games. Spectre Ops is my favorite hidden movement style game. Clank is a really interesting deck builder that probably most people have played. Chronicle Crimes is one of my top five of last year. If not the top three, it is very, very, very good and it's very interesting. It's like playing CSI the board game. Looney Quest, Quest comes out a whole bunch as well because this one here, you're basically going to be doing a drawing and then you're going to be placing that drawing on top of a board and trying to score points. It's really, really interesting and unique hand-eye coordination. A fun little party game here. Lucidity is one of Grant and my favorite games that we've had for uh, random Kickstarter peoples that just pop in and I'm like a surprise game. Space Cadets is an amazing strategic party game. Galaxy Truckers is an old classic and a favorite of mine just because it brings back, it brings joy. And when it brings joy, that's really what I really, what I like about these most of these games here. Summit is such a cool game. You're, I actually had to cut this up from Gen Con into bitty, bitty pieces and then tape it all back together by you're climbing up a mountain. So that's all it is. You're climbing a mountain. It's competitive and cooperative. Rex is basically the remastered version of Dune, but Dune's coming out, so this might go, depending. Unearth is a really good game by the creators of Boss Monsters, one of Grant and Callie's favorites. Um, Kingsburg is a cool dice roller, and Monopoly Gamer is a game for all kids to play along with adults. It's quicker, it's the best Monopoly game out there by far. Castle Panic is a great tower defense game before tower defense games became a thing on Kickstarter. The King's Guild, some people call it a Splendor Killer by my Mirrorbox Games. It is an excellent game. I wouldn't classify it as a Splendor Killer. It's completely different uh, as far as other than just the mechanical aspect of the game. There's a bunch of extra stuff in this. It's a very thick game. Escape is an excellent dexterity game. Ultimate Werewolf is great, great werewolf fun. I've like, got all the werewolf stuff. Five Minute Engine, the best five minute game ever. Kings of King of New York is a solid game, and I only have this here because I don't have King of Tokyo. I never ended up getting it, so this is a close second. This one here is called Emergence, and it's kind of an interesting bidding trader style game. Mysterium, you guys know that one, and Dice Throne. There's a third season out now. If you like Dice Throne, you're really, really going to uh, dig the third season. It's a dice rolling Yahtzee style game in which you're going to basically be, to be throwing dice against each other. Tons of different characters. They all work together. There's some new unique aspects to it. Libertalia down below is the best pirate game I've played so far. Zombicide is a game that's going to need to go. Uh, I don't really even know why it's here. I guess it's very popular, so people want to play it, so I, I leave it here. Catacombs. I haven't played this yet, but it's been on my wish list for years, and I got this and the expansion from Jackie from Show Me How to Win. Thank you very much. It's awesome. Smash Up is an excellent game. Third and Taxis. Suro, another excellent game. It's a nice, quick, abstract. Privacy is a fun adult party style game. And then Twilight Imperium, the game I've never played. I've always wanted wanted to and I've said it here just in case I can get a group together however hasn't happened yet unfortunately and I do not know if it will you think we're gonna be playing a 
playing in Thailand, Peter and Tencent Grant? One day. One day? One, one day. day. Okay, one day. That is pretty much most of the games on oh, Coup Rebellion. I like Coup a lot. Coup Rebellion was my, my cousin Ashley's favorite game, so I've left it there in case I can get it and ever come back and play some games. These are all a bunch of games that I'm going to be reviewing, so this is kind of how I keep track. It goes from left to right to top to bottom as far as the different types of games I have and when I need to release them as far as content goes. You've shown, seen a lot of these on my live stream, and during my live stream, I actually will show you guys the games that I am going to be uh, reviewing up that next week, so that's kind of a fun, fun thing. Most of these games are Kickstarter games, games that haven't come out yet, or games that just got published recently. There are a couple exceptions. Jamie likes to send me games, and... Uh, Euphoria, he sent me the expansion of that somewhere in here, but it's in this box here, so it all fits in one box. It's a really cool worker placement game. Baseball, Highlights 2045, this is an excellent game as well. Got some Exit for Cosmos, they've all sent me some really cool stuff. Vindication would be, this would be in that, that shelf over there. This is an amazing, excellent, excellent game, but it doesn't fit. <laughs> so I put it over here, because it just does not fit in there. It's, it's too big, basically. And Forsaken Forest, I really want to put it in my collection as far as that big area goes there, but I have a lot of social deduction games, and I don't think it's going to hit the table as much just because of the group that is needed to play it. Let's go over here up to the top. Okay, there is a stack, and I mean a load of games over here. There is a just bunch of stuff in the back. The ones up in the front were the ones that I was most likely going to be trying to play uh, that I enjoy. But they're not like super, super, super great. So they're still my collection. They're still up here. So that's that says something, right? Uh, Human Punishment just came out with the expansion. That's excellent. A Dog's Life. Wanted Earth was a great Kickstarter campaign. They did a great job and produced a nice game. Lisboa is fun. It's really, really long. That's probably I'll never see this. It's probably gonna have to go into the uh, go into the back area, unfortunately. Even though it's a great look, looking game. Dead of Winter is a solid little game, other than one problem with it I don't like about the ending scenario. Dark Moon is an excellent Battlestar Galactica light game. Elder Sign always sees play. The Thing is a classic, and it's my favorite, favorite IP-themed game, even though the game is just okay. But uh, I really, really like the theme of The Thing, so it's something I really, really treasure, and I'll keep for a long, long time. Asking for Troubles from Breaking Games, Cosmic Encounter, another classic. Untold is a really, really great storytelling RPG game. Trellis, that motorcycle out there. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Perfect Cell is one of Grant's favorite uh, die rollers, and it's a cooperative game. You work together, and there's Samurai Jack, which is one of Josh's favorites. Over here is like Kelsey's little work order, my camera lady. She's doing all this stuff for the live streams. And then I've got all of these games over here. Let's see if we can get in here. Grant, you'll be able to pull it in. You'll be able to do it. You'll be able to see all these things here. Look at that. There's, this, there's the camera scale. We'll see if it works. So we've got uh, Valhalla, the refuge. This one will be probably switched out. Cutthroat Caverns is an excellent game. We've got uh, Perilous Pursuit. Fantastic Brees is a fun little game. This is actually a puzzle game that also is a drinking game that my buddies are going to actually be uh, wanting to play here. <laughs> okay. uh, Tournament of Camelot is super, super good. This will never be in my collection. And Contest of Champions is just like the DBZ game. Excellent. Haven't played. Love this game. Ken Chenna makes great stuff. Wiz War, I haven't played. Dog's Life is cool. I've got an extra copy to give away, actually. Uh, RJ Consortium, level 99. They do amazing games. This is one of my favorites of theirs. Seal Team Flicks is a really cool game as well. Dexterity based. And this is a worker placement you'll never see again because it doesn't exist. Formula Day, a really cool racing game. Torres, another cool abstract game. Hail Hydra is another deduction game. Post Human. Let's see if I can find some just specific ones I really, really enjoy. Tournament Tower is actually a stacking based game that's a, a lot of fun. Let's see if you can get it on there. You got it? Beautiful. Uh, that's a stacking game. Ivion is beautiful. Uh, female designer, one of my personal favorite tactical style games. Little Scythe is actually a, a kid designer along with her dad, uh, Hobby Cho. Uh, Jurassic Terror is a really cool little Eagle Griffin game. Takanoko, one of my wife's favorite games. I'll never play it. I cannot stand it. Sir of the Seas, just like Sir of the Dragons. Extra Dragons. <laughs> Hive Mind is a fun word game. The Pirate Republic I haven't played. Star Wars card game I haven't played. Overlords of Infamy is a great game that is also by a friend, David Zuckman. Power Grid's classic and I hate it. Othello is a game Grant is good at and I hate it. <laughs> Rhino Hero is a great kid stacking game. The Shared Dream is a fun RPG game. Letter Tycoon, Steampunk Rally, and Francis Drake is an excellent game. This was a lot of fun. We'll probably hit the table sometime. It's just very big. It's by Eagle Griffin as well. Machi Koro has been killed, so probably we'll have to leave because I like Space Base so much more. Uh, Sailing Towards Osiris is so good. Daily Magic Games really killed it with this one. I'm very excited to try Horizons. Haunt the House is another really cool uh, KTBG board game, Helena Capel, 
Majesty for the Realm is excellent. Valerian Card Kingdoms, all the Valerians are really fun. Expansity, one of my favorite breaking games games. This is when you can build, you're basically playing SimCity. Curse Court, my favorite bidding game. Master of Wills is an excellent game as well. Street Kings is fun, it's like a racing game, but it's like fighting. Master of Wills is a like tug of war based game. Telepathy is basically Battleship. Level 99 Millennium Blades is a deck builder board game. Card game, pack, Magic the Gathering killer. Uh, just for board gamers, at least. Oh, not for Magic the Gathering players. Winter Tales is an RPG game that needs to leave. Sorry. Uh, Evolution is amazing. I want to try out the new stuff that they're coming out with. They have another one. What's it called? Oceans? Yes, Oceans. Ancient Aliens is a game I don't think is out. Uh, Barker's Row is really, really good. Witches of Evolution is fun. Escape is excellent and terrifying. Salem is a great game. Level, level 7 Omega Protocol is basically Aliens, the board game. Blackwater of the Queen is a fun, family-friendly, junk spirit game that is crazy competitive and co well, it's very cooperative, but it's very difficult. Descent, I'll never probably play again. Munchkins, I probably won't play anymore. Uh, Ticket to Ride is an excellent family game. Vikings Gone Wild, a great game by Lucky Duck, but they're making so many more. They're making, uh, what's the new one now? The new one they just did, Kingdom Rush. Yep. Ah, Kingdom Rush is amazing. Stone Days, they actually did the Gal Gladi Gallows on Kickstarter right now. Niroshima Hex, so on and so forth. Huh! There's a lot of games out right now, <laughs> and there's a lot of games in my collection. In fact, I didn't even go over maybe half of them, but these are just the ones that are are present here in the house that my wife would let me get, get away with making. Believe it or not, <laughs> there is, I have an attic up there, the very top up there. That's where I keep probably a couple hundred games, if not, not multiple hundreds of games that I give away and all that kind of stuff. And I, uh, yeah, I've just been sticking them up there. My wife probably doesn't know, but she will now if she watches this video. So I wanted to close this off by saying thank you guys for watching my content so much. Hopefully some of these games interested you in some way. As you can see, the organization was lackluster. I'm sorry, it wasn't as exciting as some uh, color-coordinated Cali games, display games. My personal favorites for people that are going to come over. Not necessarily my personal top ten or anything in here, but these are the ones I can get people to play. My review games and games that usually see play regardless of whether I like them. And then there's just extra bulk stuff that are fun that I enjoyed. Um, so yeah, tons of stuff. One last thing I want to do is Wednesday, this Wednesday, we're doing another live stream with John DeClaire, like I said before, and Mike Trias. And I want to see what you guys want me to give away. So if you're watching this and you also watch my live streams, every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, we give away at least four, five, six games every night. Ah, tea. Yes. And I want to know what you guys want to get. get. So I'm going to go over here and show you some games. And you guys let me know in the comment section below what's most interesting for you. What you think would be interesting for me to give away. I've got games like Elementos by uh, Taito Games. I've got Insured. I've got Cheese Quest. I've got um, True Colors. This is a really cool little game. Codenames Marvel, Daimyo Fall. I've got some Dogs. I've got Gemstone Mining. I've got Murder Most Foul. I think I've got Invader Zim, A Hair of the Wizard King. There's a ton of games here. Supernatural Socks. And uh, I think I have Tiny Ninjas as well. If any of those games seem interesting to you, let me know and we'll go ahead and try and give one of those away. There'll also be some other games that are being given away, like Bunny Kingdom next week. So if you like Bunny Kingdom, we can go ahead and check that out. But, uh, oh, we're also going to give away at least two of these uh, Crown de Floor. So. Anyway, hopefully that was a little bit of enjoyable content for you. I know it's very different than what we normally do, and uh, hopefully you got a little bit of something out of it. Maybe next time I'll throw in some additional comedy. Oh yeah, I guess I can. I can throw in additional comedy right now. Here we go. Additional comedy. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Top Board Game Show of my home and stuff and things. Hopefully you guys had a good time with us today and you're going to check out our streams and watch more of our content. And if you have anything you'd like to say about our stuff, what was your least favorite game I showed you today? And what was your most favorite game down in the comments? I really want to know what games should I get rid of and replace them with if you have any killers in mind? And what games do you, were you just shocked that you didn't see in my collection? These are things that are actually going to benefit me so I get better at uh, knowing what games people in the community are interested in seeing hearing and watching thank you guys as always and I look forward to seeing you guys next time